Welcome to our Thursday night live stream. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have X. a website. which, <laughs> And we have a website. What are you doing? Sorry. Now you me screw Sorry, up. Sorry. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're glad to see you. Happy Thursday night. We just flipped into the parking space here um with literally five minutes to spare yeah so i am so sorry our driving was behind traffic well weather was horrible today we are it's currently rainy. in pennsylvania somewhere, somewhere off of i-80 it's like exit 81 off of i-80 we're we're in a gas station parking lot yeah, that's we're basically at, we're what at, it is we're at loves that's yeah where, that's where we're stopping Gotta every, love every it. place that we wanted to stop closed for the season they don't open for a couple more weeks so and then there was like a complete shutdown of I-80 at one of the exits. And so that diverted us for an hour. So. That was scary. And then we, like our GPS, I thought was trying to kill us because- Back it, roads, back rainy, 10,000 pound trailer behind me, oh single lane road. Woo, it so. was all the things. I pound it, marriage survived it. Yes. And also on a nervous keto road trip, we didn't eat all the things, no. which I was I really glad. I had four hard-boiled eggs. That's I, what I ate today. I had two roller dogs, and I did put out like a pro tip that I've learned since I'm purchasing two hot dogs, okay. and I'm not getting the buns. Never buy one I, because it's always like cheaper to buy two. It's usually a deal, um, but they come in like two little containers. You get two boxes, right? I move my wieners over to one box, toppings in the second box. Nice. That way you can be able to be in charge of like toppings dist distribution and cut down the messiness on a road trip. It's hard to eat in the car sometimes if you have to. So welcome to our Thursday live stream. If you're new here, our Thursday live streams are just our chance to hang out with our community and answer any questions. So if you have any questions about keto, carnivore, or pretty much anything else within reason, Go ahead and type it into the comment box down below. It's so baby um, when you say within reason. The best thing to do is type the word question and then your question, or you can use Pregunta. the super chat function. The super chat function highlights our screen, lets us know you have a question so we don't miss it. We answer as many questions as we can that we see. The super chat just helps us to not miss it because it highlights our screens and we try not to miss those. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. We are on our way to New York to visit my mom for New a few York, days. New York. Should get there sometime tomorrow afternoon. Spend you forgot to get two more dozen eggs. We did. We also left my solar panel at the Alliance factory. Sorry, Terry. We we ran into such a great deal. Do you buy any local backyard chicken eggs in your town? If you don't have a backyard flock of your own, do you have like an egg person? Do you have a cheese guy? Do you have a milk person? Like, what's your hookup like? So we found next to the Elkin, Elkins, Elkhart um, campground, right across the street, there was, there's a gentleman there that he has a whole backyard chicken flock and he's selling his eggs $3 a dozen. He doesn't know what he's got. He don't know what he's got. He, he doesn't know that he needs to be, and I should have been the one to tell him, Joe after I purchased mine to be like, you need to probably double that price. Okay. Jenna said, after seeing my extra, I was wondering how much hardware does Joe have in his ankle? 17 pins. I am actually so a couple of them have come out of the Glad I know that you got your she she actually got um you got like you're not in your harness thing anymore, right? Like you're you're out of that now. It's it's got to be like just such a relief to move on from that. Andy said I was worried about you guys all day. Well, Thanks, thank you very Andy. much. It was just it it's rainy. It was so rainy. Um the roads were slippery and it's the first time that I'm towing this particular RV. Normally, I'm, you know, it's a new RV, new hitch, not quite used to it. I mean, I, I was fine, but the last few miles were interesting coming up over these hills in Pennsylvania. I like that word. Tractor trailers, like, zooming by me at 80 miles an hour, and I'm like, and my exhaust brake is kicking on. But it was it was fine. It's I would prefer to not have to drive in the rain. It's definitely better with the truck we have now. When we did not we have four have made the wheel drive. drive. Well, we wouldn't have made the drive going over those hills that we had coming when we had to go to the back roads. 
We wouldn't have made it had nothing to do with four-wheel drive. It was diesel engine. We totally, I don't know how we did went to your mom's house the last time. It was we didn't have a problem going to her. It was coming home, going through the mountains of Pennsylvania. Getting out of her driveway was not for the faint of heart. <laughs> uh let's see matt said that hat could fit on the head of a disney mascot that's because she hasn't closed it i up. know i haven't closed it up and i did my hair today but dude it has been so rainy every single time i get out of the truck i'm just like it's i've got like total look at that like hat head i have um disney hair right now i'm like i'm i'm not the person who has like beautiful hair off of a ride wind blows my hair is totally Sabrina said i was wondering how alligator was tracking all around she's doing great she's doing great however the roads of indiana not so happy about those on whatever i think i 80 whatever it was coming out it's like so, i mean people talk about the roads going to alaska bad i don't know how much worse they could be than that we well, stopped after bad. about 170 miles and i had to pee and i said let me go check after we passed through those roads all of the furniture moved mm -hmm. off of the slide and was literally over here. The furniture moved. I mean, that's it, how bumpy. no other problems, but yeah, the Dude. furniture completely moved. I was like, wow. Is it raining? Or? It is raining. I mean, it's been raining. So uh, let's see. Matt said you guys missed the Florida weather today, tornado in St. Augustine. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry for everybody that's in St. Augustine. I hope everyone's okay. Marty said, you guys both look great. Keep going. Yes, the toppings work great that way. I, I do like it that. Also. Gotta keep them separated. Also, don't forget, we need some help. We would like to have a meetup on, on April, April 20th. 20th in um lancaster or within a half hour or so of the lancaster pennsylvania area if anybody's in that area wants to get together even if there's only a few people we can find a restaurant to get together but uh let us know send us an email at joe or I at saw, rachel at two crazy ketos.com i saw nancy nancy is heading our way as well I, it was crazy she kept having like flights delayed all day i know she was she's heading up this way and she mentioned um, maybe joining us for a meetup like from Florida, but she's going to be visiting some family. And, but the flight, it was like, at, she was supposed to leave at 1230. Then it's like extended to 530. Then it wasn't going to take off until 830. She may be just getting on a plane now. Like that is so freaking frustrating. Nancy, if you're watching this, we love you. Larry said gas station roller dogs are the keto bomb. They are. And you know what? I just love them and no regrets. I just my sisters them. in here said you forgot my eggs. We did. I'm sorry, Terry. So we, we, we just had so much going on. We had a meeting with Moride yesterday, and then I was talking to somebody else today who just kind of cornered us. And so we were talking to him for a while. Great, awesome guy, Wes so from nice. West on the Move. And then um I we we were even driving and I'm like, I forgot my solar panel because I asked them specifically when they built the RV, do not put the solar panel on the roof because I'm adding more. And I need to arrange them a certain way. And the way you put it would be in the way. And I'd have to move it anyway. And I forgot it. So it's so exciting to I left meet it in people. the warehouse. Like, I love I'm so glad we got. I'm sorry that we didn't get to meet his wife today. She was doing laundry. I totally know all about that laundry life on the road. Trying to make sure. I was going to do an extra load of laundry this morning. But just overslept. I slept to the, the just, late hours of 7 a.m. this morning. So I couldn't get any laundry in. But we missed getting to, to see you, but glad we got to see Wes. And I went around and did a little bit of like Easter egg hiding around on picnic benches of all of the people that had like Alliance rigs. I don't know, like it, it's still as a newbie to RVing and certainly as a weekend warrior, like it, I'm still learning like what is campground etiquette. And I'm like, can I leave a present, like some electrolytes by your rig? Is that acceptable? I'm assuming I would be happy if someone dropped off electrolytes for me, right? We just I got like a that. text from Chris that Miriam wants to see it behind the scenes so that she can see what does our setup look like. Dun, dun, no, no, dun. she wants to see the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen. So we have to take a picture of the kitchen. Add so smurfly we will. And she wants to see how it is set up. Uh, Trish said we have a great market that gets eggs from a big local farm the eggs are a good deal nice. and they sell them for 239 a dozen dang that's cheap that is really cheap. that's even cheaper than i got them shauna's here says hey, Shauna. i have the hen pen i purchased eggs from free range happy hens who live in napa valley or it says so on their site how nice that's fun you know you always feel great 
when you make a purchase like of meat or eggs or like, you know, your food and you know that like those animals are living their best life. I love that. Jamie said, I get 30 eggs for $5 here. Wow. I'm going to look for a local buy to, guy egg, to buy eggs directly. From. I love that. FNP Feel Good said, we have seven confirmed funnel clouds within like a half hour here on Monday. My gracious. Um, let's see. Sherry said, my husband's home health aide brought us 18 eggs from her sister's wow, chicken. Wow, what a nice thing to do. Yeah, lots of people are getting good deals on eggs. I know. So Jana said, I have a plate and nine screws. They said they will take them out someday. I said no. Wow. Now prepare to get stopped at everything that has like um, <coughs> a, a, a metal detector. Because Joe always had, like, sometimes you just forget and you walk through and you set all of the alarms off. And he's like, is it my belt? And he's like, oh, no, it's my foot. <laughs> oh, Deb said tornado warning, fierce winds in Daytona. Oh, my goodness. Well, prayers for Daytona in that whole area. Adam said, after reversing my gastric bypass, it feels really, it really feels like I have to do a factory reset on everything. I feel so good. Glad to catch you guys. So glad you're here, Adam. What a, What an amazing like journey you have been on that's incredible oh matt said that nancy ended up renting a car and is driving to pennsylvania good that's pretty sad when you can outrun your airplane <laughs> right i'm gonna have to drive there it'll just take less time mayflower said what is the rv's name Allie. Allie. ally and her middle name is gator because she's a florida girl I Allie Gator. Allie. Well, one of you guys had to have a middle name. You know, Joe, like fun fact, does not have a no a, a middle name. Anybody else out there do not have a middle name? I've assigned him a middle name. His middle name that I've assigned him is Michael. So that when he is in like bad trouble and I need for him to know it, I'm like, Joseph, Michael. And then he knows I mean business, right? Sabrina said, did you guys go to the RV museum? We did. Yeah. Uh, we went with Andy and Sarah. Sarah it was G. a lot of fun. I could probably spend a lot of time in there. Me too. But we were there for a few hours, but it, it was a blast. It was interesting to see like how, you know, the needs of people have not changed that much. Like a century of, of things, like the materials are different, but a lot of some of the layouts are the same, yeah. right? Because it's just... I need it to be small. I need to be compact. I need it to, to, to be transferable. Uh, easy peasy keto wants to know if we ate the quail. We eggs. have not, not eaten the yet. quail eggs yet. I'm actually, you know, wanting to, to make them an event because this is like something so new to us. So I need to use our stove for those ones. Trace said we went to a local bike shop to start our search for the perfect e-bikes for us. We have a lot to learn, especially since New York is not very e-bike Friendly. really so you need an e-bike that um does not exceed 20 miles per hour um when you're just using the throttle that that's the biggest thing if you get any more than that many times you need to have registrations or stuff um i've really researched them our old ones were nice but they were really heavy super heavy um the old ones had a thumb throttle our new ones have a twist throttle i always thought i was gonna like the thumb throttle better i like the twist throttle better uh, hydraulic brakes is kind of a great thing to have. And then what else? I like the, I like the pedal assist. So it's funny because, you know, when we did the book study of atomic habits, like it, it's a removable battery. You have to find things that make like your new behavior that you want to do, like whether it's exercise or like, you know, eating right, cleaning out your fridge, that sort of thing. You have to make it as easy as possible to unload that new activity. And we found that the heaviness of the, our former bikes actually made us not use them as often because you'd start to get loaded up for a trip or like you're going to the park and it'd be like, oh, those things are so heavy though. Like, I don't know if I want to bother taking them. So we weren't taking them as much as I wanted to. And I'm like, hey, this is a huge investment. Well, so the, our new bikes are electric them. bikes and yeah. the electric bikes are literally like 20 pounds lighter. Now so these are folding bikes. They do have some that are not folding. Difference. Um, <laughs> we did end up becoming affiliates for them. I was trying to pull up the link for it because they're having a sale right now. I was going to look and see what the sale is. Probably wine. You know, what's always the thing. They have a sale as soon as we purchase something. Every, every come. Do you notice that? Like you buy something and they're like, oh, and then tomorrow this shirt is 50% off. What? Why didn't you tell me? Just wait a minute. So Just right now they're minute. doing free extra batteries. Uh, they're also doing a cargo pack and uh, a wag along if you use the code PET DAY. 
Oh, how cute. So they're having a bunch of different sales. That's fun. I'll put the link. You know, Tabitha is so big, she'd need her own bike. She's not going to fit in that, like, pet pool behinds. No way. Deb said, after the January 2KK cruise, Nancy and I ended up renting a car, driving back to Claremont. Our flight was late for six hours. We arrived before the plane and enjoyed the, a lap a lot. That is great. You know what's going to happen, Deb? Nancy's going to stop taking planes. She's going to be like, you know what? No. I, oh, I'm i just going to go straight to renting a car because no, I, I'm not doing this more. Because I was thinking that when, when she said that she got delayed, I was like, Joe, this is like flashback to the January cruise. Cause it, and it was hard for you coming to the cruise too. Remember? Like that was a challenge yeah. also. Yeah. Trish said we have a van. We really want a uh, foldable lightweight e bikes. Electric seems to be fairly good fit so far. Thanks for the info and the link. Yeah. So Nancy has I will too. tell you the thing about what I'm impressed with electric is their customer service. So a couple, I guess about a year ago, they had an issue with their brakes. They literally just sent, so they gave everybody free hydraulic brakes and even paid if you needed to take it to a bike shop to put them on. And what ended up happening was, is I evidently I've learned some things about recalls. If you want to have a recall, you have to tell the government, but you can't have the recall for four more months. So it's like, hey, we're going to do a mandatory recall. So you have to alert the government and then it takes about four months. So what they started doing was preemptively put a thing on like, Hey, starts, we're going to give you free hydraulic brakes. Just send us an email. And then they, it, then when the e-recall came through, they got everybody it's else. It's raining hard now. We had a problem with ours. Um, I broke the lock on Rachel's battery and broke the lock. So now there's no lock on it. I had to use a screwdriver to basically lock it in. I called them up. They said, send me a picture. They sent a brand new battery. And in fact, they mailed the battery to my sister's house so that we're not the whole trip without the battery. That's really nice. So when we get there, it should end up. Because I there. freaking love my bike. Jody wants to know, have we mentioned the model of the new RV? I looked and I can't find oh. the info. So we became brand ambassadors for Alliance RV. Their Delta uh, line. So this is the Delta line. It is the Alliance 294 RK. So it's. 29 feet inside with a rear kitchen. We're sitting uh, in the front of the kitchen. So the kitchen is that way. Over here, there is a three seat um, recliner. Couch. Over here, there is a pull out sofa that becomes a bed. Back there is our bedroom. That is the bathroom. Lots of cabinet space. We're going to do a walkthrough on our RV channel. But yeah, so that's what we have the Alliance Delta. Got to spend a couple of days touring the factory. Uh, I met the owners, had a nice interview with the owners. They're doing everything right. I, I'm they they even warranty people stuff when they're out of warranty. Because they're like, listen, a warranty means nothing. We're all about customer service. We ran into somebody that was just, they, they happened to, they were looking at our Skylink pole. And um, they needed a microwave replaced. And they it was like a year out of warranty. It was like, the, the thing was like four years old. Yeah. And they just replaced it. Yep. It's crazy. Tony said heading out to Tennessee for a month next week to get my mother-in-law's house ready for sale. Lee is a real trooper. Les. Uh, Les is a real trooper painting, fixing, taping, and packing. We'll hold a big garage sale. Too. I love you, Tony. Missing you, girl. Um, Let's see. Hopcat said, I thought for sure you'd I-86 through New York. I'm still waving about two hours north of y'all safe travels. Thank I took you. the fastest route. That's what I ended up doing. Jamie said, e-scooters, not suggesting a brand with a seat, can be nice, lightweight. That we actually true. have one of those. Yeah, I like that it also. It is from, I don't remember. We we did a review on our camping channel, though. Yeah, it was. We um, were all through the keys. Starts with a Y. Yeah, Yisel? No. No, I don't remember. We'll totally, yeah, I spaced out. Twan Irwin said, Hi. I was 713 pounds down to 252. To Most medical elements gone from carnivore diet saved my wow. life. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. We are celebrating with you and so glad that you're here. Thanks for being here. What is your favorite go-to carnivore meal? That's what I want to know. And you're, you're meat. leading with meat. I, I mean, obviously, but you like, okay, so a pigeon? Pigeon is me. Are you eating pigeon tonight? No. What's your favorite? What's your favorite go-to? Sean said, has anyone looked into the 80s cruise? A cruise that has lots of 80s bands. Michelle and I are thinking about that. That'd be fun. Yeah, they're, they're, they're usually run by like third parties. So basically it's like you have some agency. They put together this thing. 
then they you pay them. It's a cruise then within a cruise. They actually hire all the bands to come on and they take care of your cruise tickets. If you if you've done watched any of the stuff that actually recently happened to some travel agent who was booking a lady on things <gasps> or a bunch of people and they like overbooked it to so the company. So just make sure you go directly to the company. If you're gonna do one of those right 80s things, rock things, go don't book. That's the one time I'm gonna tell you don't book through a travel agent. Go directly to the company because they the are being a travel agent. Yeah. Um, the, Paul said I did one four years ago. I mean, it was freaking best time. I bet it would be less hair for the hair bands, though. I would think. Do you think they're still like rocking like the mullet, long hair, permed look, still feather bangs? What do you think? Exposing Darkness said I need to call Keto Chow Anonymous. Bought birthday cake and chocolate malt. Going to buy butterscotch, orange cream, fruity cereal, and the monthly. Wow. I miss you, girl. It was so good seeing you at the meetup. We had such a great time at the meetup last Saturday. I am still on cloud nine after getting to see and visit with everybody and really looking forward to the next one next Saturday. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Joseph said, question, how do you do keto in the hospital? Thanks for what you do in this community. Take care. Peace. Um, I'll tell you how I would do it if I was in a hospital. I would kick and scream and say, I'm not eating the garbage food you're giving me. Yeah. Well, I, and I just root. And that specific is. specific about wanting meat. Yes. And yeah. they're probably going to tell you, no, not good for your diet. Have somebody sneak it in and just refuse to eat it. So uh, we have Beth and Randy. Yes. Randy was in. He was Randy getting Seidel. his leg removed. And he just kicked and screamed and said like i'm going to alert the media that you are refusing a veteran the meat that he wants and they ended up giving it to him well, and he healed the doctor said faster than anybody they've ever seen heal from an amputation i think you know joe talks in like joe tone like which is always like let's go but my my thing would be just remain calm and say to them, you know, I am the patient and I am really a customer. I'm a customer here. And part of the service of this experience is not just the access to the doctors and nurses, but I'm paying for this bed and I'm paying for the meals that are served here. So I have a choice. This is not prison. This is a choice of what I can eat. And I know that you are serving some sort of protein source. You're probably serving some form of like grilled chicken. You probably have bacon and eggs. You may even have hamburger patties. I want the meat. That is what I would like is meat. And um, certainly it does help if you have like a family member or friends who could bring in um, meat to you to like to make sure that you're getting full as much as you want. Like I think that's a great idea. But, you know, just remember that this is a service and you're paying handsomely for this. And, and they're going to argue with you. And one of the best things that, before we move on to say to them is I have a, a food aversion or a food sensitivity. Do not use the word allergy because they can prove an allergy. Right. They can't prove a sensitivity. So if you say I have a food sensitivity to grains, they won't give you grains. If I have a food sensitivity to sugar... They won't give you sugar. But if you say I have an allergy, then they start going, okay, well, let's let's confirm that with allergy guys. But the second, if you say an aversion or a sensitivity, they'll they'll usually gonna work with you more. Yeah, they will. Um let's see. Oh, Twan says ribeye. Okay. You're Lots after my own heart. Congratulating heart. Twan I love that. saying uh that he lost two people. Oh, it was the turbo ant scooter scooter. Turbo ant. That's it. That's what I thought it was an ant. But then when you said it's a Y, I was like, I, no. I was thinking of your bicycle. I was thing. thinking it's Anthony. That first thing that came to my mind is our middle son, Anthony. Oh, no, it wasn't the turbo ant. See, there you go. It is the Kugo Kieran G3. Oh, okay. Well, that's not that's Y not either. That's not a Y either. Okay. We, we've done a few scooter reviews. But we, we actually got rid of everything. We kept the Kugo Kieran stuff. Uh, Matt said it was great seeing I, Aaron. I it was love great seeing, seeing you guys you, at the meetup in Elkhart. And I still haven't fully disclosed what you gave to me. I put it inside of like our my chow box that we're eating off of for for Joe to discover that it's there. And that said, for me, it is ground beef. Super easy. Nice. can be flavored any way you so want. True. I'm eating ground beef with leftover skirt steak, a little bit of blue cheese, and plain yogurt on top. Annette, that sounds like dream 
dinner. Like I would love that right now. We talked to, when we were talking to carnivore werewolf as like a trucker and trying to do carnivore, like what he would like to see at gas stations is like loose meat like that, you know, or ground meat by the cup. I would love that because just like you're saying, you can transform it into so many things. You can, you know, with seasonings and sauces too, you can make it Mexican or Italian. Like it's perfect for tacos. It's perfect for Italian night. Like I, I can turn it into curry depending on the spices. Like I think it's just so versatile. And I, honestly, I feel like they would just sell out. I'm excited that like where we're at, there's actually a Wendy's. So probably after this live stream, I'm going to like walk over to Wendy's and get I'm thinking, some patties. I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking about getting like some great minds. Of patties. Great minds think alike. Uh, I was just looking up this link for somebody. Um, no, I, I don't want this one. That's why oh, okay. I, I'll go back to the comments though. Uh, there was, uh, Trish said Picanha. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, let's see. Trish wants to know, do we have any great recipes for skirt steak? Mm. Skirt steak is one of those things that you're going to cook like quick, like throw it on the grill, just a couple minutes. For me, everything is about salt, pepper, garlic. That to me is the best rub, anything like that for any kind of meat. The Redmond garlic salt. Uh, awesome. The one we have is currently unavailable. Okay. So, Joe's trying to find, somebody asked about the cooler. Oh, this is oh, actually, this is another brand. But it's this, it, it literally is the same exact cooler. So I saw somebody, let's see. Who's Joe? Where is it? Joe. Joe said, can you give me details on the electric cooler? I'm going to put in a link for the, it, this one is the Bouge RV. We Bougie. have the Joy Totus. It's the same exact one. Like literally if you put them next to each other, the buttons are the same. It's just a relabel. And actually, so the, the, the Joy Totus or whatever you pronounce it, it's not available right now in this size, but this one is available in several, in several sizes as well. They have a 43 or 53. They also have some smaller ones, but this is the size we have, the We've 43. had it for a couple of years now, and it is freaking awesome on trips. If you're, and this is a great price, $229. If you're trying to, because you you plug it in, it's great for the, the car. Then we bring it inside. We just get one of those like dollies. If you're staying at a hotel, um, it's great to transfer over. It's nice to shop it, with. It even. runs on 12 volt or AC. It comes with two plugs. So when you're in a hotel room, you plug it into the wall. And then it when you're in too. the car, you uh, just use your 12 volt. You can adjust the temperature. You can make it a freezer or a refrigerator. And so, I mean, we, it has been great. We've used it for a couple of years. We're bringing it, it to Lancaster, baby, because I know I'm going to find stuff. You're going to have an RV in Lancaster. I know, but you don't need a cooler. I love you. But here's the thing, friends. Okay. Are you going to shop all through Lancaster all day long with your trailer? Or are you going to take your truck without the trailer, leave the trailer at the campsite, and go shopping with just your truck? It's good to have the cooler in the back and okay. then move it over. Chris said our daughter Haley is coming home from Canada on Yay! Saturday. Audrey is already here. The whole clan will be oh, back together again. Together awesome. again. Together forever. That's so exciting. Sabrina yeah. said their hospitals actually have a menu you can order from. That is nice. Uh, Deb said, I cook my ground beef in butter and then I top it with beef, keto chop, Ooh, for yes. some gravy. Absolutely. That's how we like to do it too. We oftentimes, when we're home, we will cook it on um, the Blackstone. And so since that griddle top, it gets all like, you know, all of that grease that are, it's still there. We just like dust it with the keto chow, especially like the savory flavors are awesome. The taco, like the, the mushroom now, the potato tastes really good. And it soaks up all that grease. So we don't oh, miss Oh, said my name is Anthony. Oh, Hi, cool. Anthony. I, I'm, I will remember that because of the fact that our middle son's name is Anthony also. Sean said ground beef and scrambled eggs are my go-to. Yes. Paul said, when I was in the hospital for 10 days getting my celiac diagnosis, three months after the type 1 diagnosis, I told them six eggs and 10 bacon every morning. People could smell the bacon down the hall. Once you make that order, then everybody else wants the same order. Like, talk about I'll have what they're having. It's going to be like you order, you order a bunch of bacon and some eggs, and people are like, yeah, that's what I want. I don't know what I'm eating. This jello here, this lime jello. No, take that back, and I would like bacon, please. 
So Jamie said, as the caretaker, you may have to kick and scream when they serve a hungry person when you aren't around. They kept throwing out the low-carb shakes and replaced them with sugar shakes. Oh, man. Yeah, that's really frustrating. Um, What is this one? Donna said, I wish hey. you could post a photo on here. I've been hoarding keto chow. Actually, I have licorice, black and red. And I think I have some grape and all of the new flavors. How fun. Yeah, you can post a picture. I see Chris saying you can post a picture in Mighty Networks. Please do. Like, we love seeing pictures of everybody's grocery haul and, like, certainly your Keto Chow haul. And I'm so excited that Keto Chow, they brought back, like, boom, amazing flavors. We're talking birthday cake, orange cream, chocolate malt, and I'm a little partial to butterscotch, yo, but that is where it is at. Shauna said, I love Rachel's more gentler version of Joe's kick and scream. Thanks, Shauna. You get me. You get me. Because um, I think that, like, and here's the thing. We were just talking about this at the meetup, how, like, Joe is the tough guy, but then in the moment, you're very tender. Like, everybody expects you to be, like, a real gruff guy because you kind of talk like that but then in person you're really he's really a sweet guy jody said wow the rv is awesome now my husband joel wants to know what kind of truck you have i have a 2023 f-250 diesel xlt with the upgraded like midnight i think is package so it's a great we actually have a video on it on, on our camping channel it's a video about like diesel versus gas right like, the, the buying that truck was very interesting because I literally was researching them while we were camping on Lake Powell with Chris, Miriam, and Steve, and the kids, and Holly. And I li we literally took a red eye home, landed, got in my truck, drove four hours to get the truck because the deal that I made with them was expiring that day. It's, it's, it was nice. I mean, like it's worth checking that out. Like if you're in the market for like electric truck or electric truck, gas truck versus a diesel truck, just to see kind of like the pros and cons, like, you know, he goes through it all. I, I think it's pretty interesting because there's, you know, there's benefits to both. There's some people that feel really strongly about a gas engine and people that feel very strongly about the, diesel. The biggest problem with diesel is it's more money per gallon, even though you get more fuel mileage. But the bigger problem is the engine's $10,000 more. So if you need a diesel, get it. If you don't need it, don't get it. When we bought our gas engine, we didn't need it because we didn't live in the mountains and we didn't own an RV. Right. Now we own an RV and we want to drive in the mountains. Really glad like we, we would had not that. have been able to do the drive today going through the mountains of Pennsylvania without with a gas engine. I would not have had the torque to get up one of the hills going like this for a mile and a half, almost straight up. Okay, so and I, then the exhaust brake really helped going down the hill. I will say that I think that it is a marriage win that after so many years of marriage, when I can tell Joe is stressed out, my response now is not to just over talk um and try to distract with talking that's not it i just like like close my mouth and pray like just close my mouth and pray because yeah you know it's just because if you know if do you, when you're on a road trip you have to like be sensitive to your partner's needs because you're traveling together and it can either be an awesome trip or if you're fearful like in those moments when we're going to need a burger oh my gosh it's I need a burger scary. i i do too uh, Jody said, you have the household hooked on meat thins. We bought a dehydrator in December. It's more than paid off. Our extended family and their fur babies love it. So I'm so awesome. glad. That's actually um, my mom's dog, Boaz. He's a multi-poo. That is his favorite thing. She is a meat thins like manufacturing plant for that little dog because that's his favorite. Uh, 24 CIF said, got the trailer from the $25,000 winnings, perhaps? We Ella, can, I can neither confirm you. nor we deny. Cannot confirm nor deny if we won season two of RV Unplugged. But I will say May this. May 29th. I will say this. I'm looking at stuff that shook down from the ceiling. Look on top of the. I know. There, and there was like foam over here from those roads. What it is, is it's sawdust and stuff that yeah. shook loose from those roads. Um, so season two, episode one, May 29th, we'll actually be on the low carb cruise. So we will be sneaking away to jump into the live chat. For, I, for that, for and that. I just want to say, I was, I was sharing when we were at our meetup, how much it means 
to have a community that's cheering for us, to have friends that are cheering for us, like in whatever endeavors. And I love, you know, when people are sharing that they're going for a new job in our group, or they had like a wedding happen in their family, they're going through something like we share life's ups and downs together as like the two crazy kiddos family. And as we were, you know, when we were doing kind of most recently, like a live stream, because after every single episode airs, we'll be in a live stream for RV Unplugged on the RV Unplugged YouTube channel, which I hope you will subscribe to for yourself because they're doing lots of giveaways that I don't want you to miss out on. So make sure you're, you're subscribed. They're giving away giving a away trailer. Yeah. They're giving away an RV. So that's pretty cool. Um, but when we were in that live and we saw you guys show up and just be such an encouragement and be like saying our names out there, like it just meant the absolute world to us. So like, thank you so much for being our friends and cheering for us. I've never experienced that in my life. And it really is such a precious thing to have friends and for us to celebrate things together. Barbara said, when in the Lancaster area, you must visit the Shady Maple Smorgasbord and Market. Ooh, it's quite the experience. That sounds yeah, I good. I plan on getting like a whole list from my sister because my mom and my sister go there a lot. I'm hoping they're going to actually come with us. How many pickled things can Rachel eat? We shall see. Exposing Darkness said, I was at a meeting today and watching people eat chips, candy, and cookies wasn't even tempting. that That's is awesome. an absolute victory that is a huge huge win when you feel like okay whatever anybody else is doing it's not causing me to want what they're having i i have no fomo and also i'm not mad at them that was like the final thing for me because first i white knuckled every meeting where they were serving something with carbohydrates then i was glad i didn't want them but I, Honestly, I felt kind of judgy. I felt judgy about what they were eating. When I was ready to like move on from that and just be like, I know people going to eat stuff. They're they're not ready for it yet or they don't know about it yet. And I could just be there in peace in the moment. Like that's a precious thing. Joanna said, I think I'm the only person who loves black licorice. No. Miriam does. No, I hate black licorice. I gave it all to Miriam. We've got one. We might have one that Aaron sent for you as well. Uh, That's that that got in there. We will. We shall pass that on to Miriam because I thought you liked it. It's no, red licorice. I like the red licorice. Red licorice. Uh, oh, my sister said I second that smorgasbord. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, Twenty four CIF Joe's new nickname. Let's go, Joe. Let's go, Joe. Annette said, "I'm with Joe. We need to kick and scream. People are dying slow, miserable deaths. Mm. There is no time to be left." to be nice and polite when it comes to a hospital rehabilitation and nursing home nutrition. That's kind of the side I'm on. I, we can tell. Uh, Trish said, I have no business buying more keto chow, but I will. <laughs> um, let's see. Paul said, uh, that's one of the things I spend my on, on survey money on. The more surveys, and com surveys that complete, the more keto chow I can buy. I like that. So you're like kind of ear tagging certain funds for it. Like we do that with lots of different things, especially, well, you know, Joe has like his camera budget, like microphone budget is all based on selling what we had mm -hmm. and then using that money to buy the next thing. Because boy, I can't even tell you how many cameras that we have purchased over the years having this channel but it's one it's one camera budget because it's just been a matter of like we have to sell the old stuff in order to buy the new stuff yeah. joanna said my stall is broken down another half a pound i'm Yay. in the 180s it's about time i love that joanna aaron said the greater roads in pennsylvania was definitely a surprise to me last year when i went after keto palooza i'm used to flat roads of northern illinois it was it, it was it was fantastic it was bumptastic. I was like, is this road completely made out of potholes or there is there any any road to this? Just potholes or any real road? Uh, Sabrina said the cabinets above your sofa are like ours. Mark put shocks in them uh, so we don't have to hold them up. Yeah, those actually have it in there. I actually that was something that when we first looked at the RV, um, I, and one of the things that we love about Alliance is they listen 
to the customers. They they listen to our viewers and, and, and people make suggestions. They look at it and say, yeah, that's a good idea. And they start doing it. So one of the things that I said is like, those need struts, those and the ones in the bedroom, they need struts. So now, so they, I said, I want struts in ours. You put struts in the Avenue line. Why aren't you putting struts in here? They put them in here. And now all future versions are getting the struts. So I really like that about them. Um, Me too. Yeah. For, forget, you don't want to watch RV plug for a free RV or for a free $10,000 independent suspension, but Salty has become sponsors of RV Unplugged. How exciting. And you can enter the, to win. Go over to RVUnplugged.com, enter to win, and you have a chance to win a year's supply of Salty. How cool is that? Are you guys tickled that Salty is going to be a sponsor of the RV Unplugged Season 2 Finale Rally? So if you are coming... And I, tickets are still available. So it's going to be in August. It is immediately following Keto Orlando Summit. So we're going to be at the Keto Orlando Summit. And then we're going to go over to Auburndale, Florida, to Camp Margaritaville for the finale rally. We're going to be there quite a few days. It's supposed to be a great crowd turnout. We can watch the final episode together, which is going to be really, really cool. And Salty is going to be sponsoring that. So I'm su yeah. super excited. Get some Salty while you're there. And exposing an artist at Elkhart, where do you get repairs? So if there's anything that happens with um, Ali, then we can go, can to, go to oh, any. So we can go to any dealer and any place that services Alliance. Alliance does like have arrangements with all of the dealers that sell them that like you have to service their units, even if um they didn't sell it to us it's the, rvs are not like car dealerships like car dealerships like you know ford every ford has to fix your car it doesn't have to be the one you bought it from rv dealerships are independent and they have lots of different brands so they can pretty much do what they want but alliance does say to them you have to service any of our units whether the person bought it from you or not but you can also get mobile rv tax also i can pretty much fix anything uh, Alliance is really good. If I say to them, like, hey, it's broken, you send them pictures, documentation, and they will send you the part. And if you're if you're able to do it yourself, you could do it yourself. Or we can always bring it back or up. Or we to, could call Bishes. Yeah, we actually found out we're going to be going back up to Elkhart in June sometime now. So yes. we'll be doing another trip for a week up to Elkhart in so June. So if we didn't get a to... cool surprise. That was unexpected. Um, my, uh, Q is going to get really, really mad. I know. But if you are, so if you didn't get to see us when we came to the meetup the, like la on Saturday, then maybe we can meet up again in June. There'll be another chance for yeah, us to so get we'll together. So we'll be going back up in June and then again next year. So a major, major issue, we would just bring it back to the factory, which yeah. is what a lot of people do, whether you're brand ambassadors or not. Um, Sean wants to know when is the next season two trailer coming out? I have no idea. As they don't tell we, us. That. Yeah, they don't tell us anything. So as as um as soon as we find out, we will let you know because I want to see it as well. Jamie said I knew an older German lady who ate black licorice to have babies with brown eyes. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. Why so? Now my my grandmother always loved black licorice. That was her favorite. Whenever we had Easter baskets, everybody would just give her the black licorice jelly beans. Uh, nobody wants that. Deb said black licorice must have been before my knowledge of you and Keto Chow. I don't remember seeing it on an order screen. I love licorice and it's too. It's so it, it was a couple of years ago. As a matter of fact, it was kind of funny. I don't know if Chris has got the video somewhere. We uh, tried it for the first we, time. We went, we flew out. It was during the summer. It was when we went, um, when we went tubing down the Provo River. But I remember we walked in and they're like, we want you to try something. Didn't tell us what it was. And it was like, Ew, that is that is horrible. And the and then the red licorice was, was really good because it tastes like. But it blows your mind because you're just like this is absolutely accurate. It totally yeah. tastes like Swedish fish to me or Twizzlers. It was, but it was a very small match. Uh, Lynn said the roads are like that because of the salt use in the winter. I figured that. Terry it's, says, wait till you hit the roads in New York, especially seventeen. My thing was is I was just shocked because this was an interstate. It, it was an interstate. It wasn't like I expected on side roads. I expected on 17, but you're this thinking was an it's, interstate. If it was Joe Stauffer Avenue West, then you're like, okay, I expect it because it's just like a little street. But yeah, it was the whole interstate. Uh, let's see. 
Are you related to Marty Stalfer? No. Although when we were coming out of a gas station today, there was like, I, I don't know what the service was. I want to say it was like a locksmith or something, but it was Stauffer. Oh, Chris has got the video up of the, us trying to oh, block Oh, awesome. Room. Yeah, it was like Stout, it was like Stauffer locksmith. And I was like, hey, where our last name is Stauffer too. I think we're caught up. Oh, wow. Look at us. Joanna said, I would love a hazelnut keto chow. It's my favorite flavor, but 2KK caramel macchiato is another favorite. Thank you. Jody said, uh, it's hard to not be judgy. Spent the weekend with my family and while complaining about his diverticulitis and how he couldn't eat meat, watched my brother eat a burger, fries, pizza, and candy. I'm so sad for him. I am too, Jody. Like, um, I, my grandfather had diverticulitis. It was so painful just like such a such a painful thing to have to deal with that yeah it's like if you if, if you could find anything where eating differently would would help with that pain it's like let's do that right like i'm so sorry matt said sarah hates black licorice years ago we ate jelly beans she would give me all the black ones i used to just throw them out throw them out the window or if rachel's mom was around you give them to rachel's mom and when i was growing up my mom liked them Maybe it's a mom thing. I, Must be a mom thing. Um, so how are your bonsai trees doing, Matt Franklin? I understand you took up a new hobby this week, bonsai trees. Sarah brought some bonsai trees. And also, what did you name the trees? I, I am lobbying that one of your new bonsai trees needs to be named Groot, obviously, right? Doesn't Don't you have to have a bonsai tree named Groot? They're so cute. Jesse said, I'm late to the party. Hey, did Jesse. you guys drive through Ohio already? Yes, we did. Yeah, we're yep. in we, Pennsylvania. We're in Pennsylvania. We've got, I, I want to say the original plan was five and a half hours, but we kept driving. So I, I want to say we're probably about four and a half to five hours to get to my mom my, tomorrow. My bestie since ninth grade is from Ohio. So I had to, like, she, it was so weird. She like texted me just as we were like going across the border like she four just hours and 39 minutes we're coming for you terry <laughs> and um and i was just and she was like you know how's the trip going and everything and i'm like i just crossed into ohio because that's where she's from rachel's like do you want to drive straight through i'm like i don't think my mom's gonna appreciate us pulling into the driveway at 10 30 at night well it's gonna be even later yeah because we that. had to stop for the live stream yeah and so yeah we were gonna stop at a harvest host and then i'm like i want to keep going because it was still really early and then every other one they're like we're closed for the season that's that's like stressing me a little bit is like i like wish every there campground was within 20 miles campground. of my mother is closed we're, for the season so they open up like in two weeks we're gonna boondock in in front but i just wish there was a inverter. i just wish there was a campground I really w wish there was a campground, yeah. but it's just, they're like, oh yeah, there's tons. They'll be open May 1st. And I'm like, oh, I can't, that that does not help me right now. Yeah. And then, so we were just going to stop for the Cracker Barrel because, you know, we're fine. Cracker Barrel, Cracker Barrel is a lot of Walmarts. You can actually just camp in their parking lot. Cracker Barrel is great for camping in the parking lot. And uh, we were going to do that, but then we we're like, well, we have the live stream and I want to hook up the Starlink to know that I have good internet. Come on now. And we have all of our batteries installed, but I don't have the inverter. It didn't show up. I, I don't even know if he's mailed the new one at my sister's house, but so we would only be able to run on 12 volt and we wouldn't be able to set up the Starlink. So we decided, you know what, we're just going to stay here. And they, it was like 40, but actually AARP to the rescue was $34 um <laughs> but we're like it's so funny because <laughs> at first like it was almost like my that's not bad we're I, at a truck stop gas coffee everything like that we're separated from everybody else 34 dollars. you get sewer water and electric tell that's me not bad. tell me you're going through menopause without telling me you're going through menopause like i got um like uh coupons for similac and an aarp membership notification the same week nice the same week like you're trying to tell me something um so at first i was very indignant about my aarp like i'm not ready for aarp met well you're only an aarp member because of me 
Well, I'm telling you, well, it came to me. I get my own. So you get yours and I get mine. So I'm in there. I'm in their thought process. You're in the thought process. I'm in their database. Okay. So at first I was like, I don't know about this. Now I'm like, can we go to movies cheaper? If we have ARP, go, go check my senior discount. And hey, see. we did learn. We had to, we had to like, what do I get? We had to like mail some stuff out. And, and, and then I had to get like, oh, I had to check the license plate thing. We had to laminate our temporary license plate. And I found out ARP members get discounts at the UPS store. She's like, do you have this, ARP? I can give you a discount. Why? Wow, like, yes, I do, you young lady. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, it's it's crazy. You still do. I read the AARP magazine because, like, Brooke Shields was on it recently. And I was like, okay, if I'm in, co I'm in good company, if, like, me and Brooke Shields are going through this together. Um, but sometimes there's some crap articles. Like, it's basically like, we as seniors should be eating nothing but fiber. I'm like, who is the editor for this? K Kellogg? Like, it, 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 it was crazy how much, like, grape nuts. Deb said, closed for the season. The area just had snow less than a week ago. Tourists and camping stuff is not open. I yet. know. But we were, like, driving through. It's, like, 60 degrees. Yeah. So, I'm like, I could understand if I see snow on the ground. But I'm like, it's 60 degrees. Can we please open it up? Sean, thanks for the $5 super thanks, chat. Can you Sean. please sing happy birthday to Carrie? Yeah, we Absolutely. were going to. We are just going to do it at the end of the live stream. Here we, we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carrie. Happy birthday to you. And many more. So many more, Carrie. Uh, Sabrina said another terrible interstate is I-10 in Louisiana. Is it awful? awful? Like for, bad for camping? You guys got a new RV recently, I believe. Uh, Matt said, Sarah named one of them Groot. The other one doesn't have a name yet. She's looking forward to exploring this new hobby. Yay. As if she needs another one. Too many talents in that one. She, uh, she's amazing. That is a brilliant woman. And I will say they they shared their beautiful home with us. We got to go and see. It's Everything is just so lovely. I can. It's just very restful there because it's like you have beautiful. She's like spinning wheels because she can, dude, weave her own yarn. Yeah. And then, um, and then the tea sets all around you, and now plants. Like it's just very life giving. I love that. Hope said, enjoy watching you. Hey, Congrats Hope. on the RV. Love keto child fight seizures. And this is a lifesaver when my brain turns into a potato. Appreciate you. Wow. Bro. Thank you. I definitely appreciate keto child as well. It's It's been a lifesaver. I mean, you know, a couple of years ago, Joe had dental surgery. Like, I don't know what we would have done, to be honest. Like. Through that. Oh, okay. Are we back? Yes. Yeah, sorry. There the camera we are. Turned off. Um, Sometimes he's like, no one can hear you. And then I can see people typing, yeah, we can. <laughs> no, it, well, the mic is controlling. I'm using that one right there. Oh, okay. Um, Sabrina said we parked at a Cracker Barrel a couple times. It makes a nice place to eat breakfast next morning. It does. That's why, like, at first I was like, $40 to park at Love's. But I'm like, then I started thinking, but they are giving me electric and water and sewer. Not that I need the water and sewer. I mean, maybe and we literally do. pay for the electric to do the live stream. You don't know how but many if, hamburger if patties parking, I'm eating. Here's the deal is that if you do stay in a Cracker Barrel parking lot, the etiquette is go in the store and buy something or eat food there. No problem. The same thing with Harvest Host. Like Harvest Host, if you don't know what that is, it's a place where you can stay overnight for free. And it's usually like wineries, restaurants, golf courses, Coffee things like shops. that. And the, the deal is, is that you, you pay like $80 a year for a membership and you go to these harvest hosts, but the harvest hosts don't get paid from harvest hosts. Right. So the deal is, is you're supposed to go patronize that restaurant. That's why the restaurants and golf courses and wineries do that. They're like, Hey, Extra you're traveling through, customers. stop at our winery, buy a bottle of wine, have some food at our little boutique restaurant kind of thing. We went to it's Mr. a win-win. We went to Mr. Coffee in Frostproof, Florida. It was a great Harvest Host. Yeah, and they're it had, not a Harvest Host anymore, it, though. And had amazing coffee. Yeah. So if and you're we've going stayed through at wineries. Frostproof, check it out. Don't, I don't think they're there anymore. 
I think he is because I, I messaged Look, him. They're not a Harvest Host anymore. anymore. Oh. They're not on the list for Harvest Host. But Hosts the anymore. coffee shop exists. So, but my feeling is, is that we would have spent 30 or $40 staying at a Harvest Host anyway. So oh, at least easily. this way we got electric. Yeah. Um, Jamie said ARP for the ladies is in our mid 40s. Uncool. Right. But I also get ads for IVF. So not. A oh, I know. It's totally confusing. It's like, yes, it, it's like the male understands like our frustration terry said trying to figure out when you will be south of me you must be coming through corning maybe i have to look and see the route is corning I'm where corning i'm going from? the fastest route is that where corning where is from, from um corning? originally i was going to go up through binghamton and then i i changed the route uh, Chris said, we've recently replaced Joe and Rachel with a black screen. Let's see if anyone noticed it. Remember those old commercials for coffee where it was like, we've replaced their fancy coffee with Folgers crystals. Mary said, husband and I just started carnivore on April 1st. I'm down 14. Wow. Pounds. That's, I'm, I'm that's incredible, Mary. So that just kind of like, it really helps with inflammation and that's what you notice is like what is going on inflammation wise because that's a that is a lot going on in 10 days 11 days so we're going to basically take interstate 80 to 81 and then we're going to go up 82 no 81 83 and then we're just basically going up High through spitter. i don't know like honesdale new york beach lake these are we're not places, going right? we're not narrowsburg that kind of area Bethel. Never, never heard of it are you done no not yeah. even but yeah we're not going that going the through Binghamton, just begun for you sir going through binghamton would add an hour to the trip so i don't want to go that way uh joanna said uh joe i broke down i got the super low through your link on amazon holy cow amazing three drops my coffee it i is love this super super intense like that you you're absolutely right it's like a drop three drops people are, people are going to think like three drops of anything does that make any difference at all three drops three drops yes like that it's crazy such a tiny little amount uh easy peasy keto Stacey. today i had my left hip replaced and wow. just to monitor my recovery on keto had another replace 18 years ago pre-keto oh, <laughs> i'm gracious. feeling good I came home about four hours after surgery. Walking is good. Stacy, that is incredible. <coughs> oh man, I wish I would have given you like one more hug. Well, let please know. Like we're thinking about you as you recover from this. So proud of you, girl. That's incredible. Man, okay. walking. So I have to tell you, Wendy's Burgers is calling my name. What um I let's finish on this one. Trish says, What are good keto selections at Cracker Barrel? We did go. Not this past Tampa RV show, but when we were going up to Keto Palooza with Megan and Chris Miller, two years we, ago, two years that was ago the year of the hurricane. we stopped at a Cracker Barrel and they did have some a la carte. A la carte. The, the go a la carte. When you go to Cracker Barrel, a la carte. Like hamburger patties and bacon. And then they had some like, they, at that time, they had a like ham that was not like a honey glazed ham. They had a regular like, like smoked ham. Um, they have sausage and they have cracked eggs. Now, I, my my personal thing is is we don't really it's eat steaks. a Cracker Barrel because you have to buy a la carte, and I feel like it's it's okay food for the price they're going to charge. So yeah. if we stay in a camp, if we crack like overnight in a Cracker Barrel parking lot, we just buy something in the store. We just buy like we have a grandbaby, and they yeah. sell like Dolly Parton. You know, we'll, there. we'll patronize them, but for the most part, we don't usually eat in the restaurant just because. I it, eat it, more food. It's it's keto friendly, but not a keto friendly enough for the cost, in my opinion. Well, my opinion is for the cost is like what I mean. Even before keto, we would go to places like Bob Evans, and I'm like, who is this for? An ant? Like I can eat way more food than this plate holds. So for me, yeah, Paul I, said chicken cob salad. Yeah, the oh, salad that's chicken. good. But like, I'm gonna leave there and still be hungry. So I I do better at like other restaurants, but the country store. Hello. Uh, Paul said, I'm thinking about signing up for one of the boondock sites. We have a nice piece of land. So you have, the other one is boondockers welcome. Yeah. So boondockers welcome is literally like, I have a bunch of land 
and we love RVers, we love campers. So you are welcome to come stay at our house. And usually people will give like a little donation, like, hey, I'll run a cord out to you, 20 bucks or something like that. Right, exactly. But that is up to you because you can make it where it's just a boondocking situation or you can provide some a la carte services like that where people pay, you know, for to have electric, which is like when that happens and like when we're using one of those boondocking sites and then, the, you know, the owner says it's available, dude, like that, that makes our day. Like, yes, happily, I will purchase that service. Okay, we're going to get off because Wendy's is calling my name and I've only had four hard boiled eggs while I was driving in the car. I, it was funny because you were like, Wendy's is calling me. I was like, who's Wendy? Come on. Who is that girl? Who's who's calling your well, name? And then I was fine. like, oh yeah, I'll Wendy's. The call, you stay in the RV. No, well, no, you better come back with a whole bunch. No. Okay. No. I, don't come, I better go you then. You don't come, you don't get. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for joining us for our live stream live from on the road in Pennsylvania. Yeah. We will be back live on Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern time for Keto Beyond the Couch. We love you guys. Everybody have a great night. Bye.